Welcome back to The Pulse Studios, home of 94.7 The Pulse, community radio and Pulse television. If you would like to be part of Pulse television, come and join our media course. Just contact www.947thepulse.com. North Geelong Secondary College prides itself on diversity. Here's Lisa checking out their multicultural festival. Hello, I'm Lisa from Pulse Television. Today we're at the North Geelong Secondary College for their multicultural festival, Growing As One. There'll be lots of food, music, stalls, entertainment and a little bit of dancing too. Let's take a look at some of the action. I'm here with Vera Dudas, an ex-student and now a multicultural teacher. Welcome to Pulse Television. How, how, how are you going to have a good day today? Fantastic. Now, how, how different is it to the North Geelong Prime Secondary School now to where it was when you came here at school? Uh, well, we have many different uh, cultures. Yeah. Uh, Approximately how many cultures do we have here at the North Geelong Secondary School? At any given time, it's 30 plus. Fantastic. They're definitely multicultural Australia here. We are joined today with the Shadow Minister for Immigration, Richard Miles. Welcome. Great to be here, Lisa. It's uh, What a fantastic day. Now you're a member for Corio, so this is obviously in your electorate. Yeah. Well, well this is very much in the heart of the electorate. Um, and, and this would be the most multicultural school that we have uh, in Geelong. And it's just a, a fantastic day. I mean, you, it, like looking across the, the kids uh, and you see 40 different nationalities represented. Uh, and at the same time, you think actually that is, that's modern Australia, isn't it? This school is also famous in terms of the English language uh, that it's teaching that it's providing and particularly to new immigrants. And uh, I've visited the English language facility here which is uh, I mean and there are people literally who have just arrived from all, all corners of the world and it's actually a wonderful experience to to go and talk to those kids and to hear what they've gone through to be here Thank you for joining us here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now we have the pleasure of being joined here by principal of North Geelong Secondary College Nick Adamu. Welcome to Pulse Television. Thank you. This multicultural festival, you have been doing it here at the school for a number of years now, but you've decided to open up to the public this time. What was the reasoning behind that? Well, as you can see, our school community is extremely multicultural. We are very, very proud to live in a school community where all the ethnic backgrounds come together as one. We had our opening assembly this morning, um, which uh, I think it was a great success. Now, you do support the multicultural um, refugees and immigrants that come to the country. Uh, how many cultures do you have represented at the school? 38% of the school population is... Uh, they come from background other than English. Out of that 38%, 20%, they come from a refugee background. We have a variety of programs to accommodate for our uh, new um, arrivals. We've got the intensive uh, English language center on site where the students would spend approximately six months, six to, um, to a year learning English. We um, embrace multiculturalism and we are a school of so many ethnic backgrounds with no uh, racial incidents at all. It makes me want to go back to high school all over again. Thank you very much for inviting us here on your fantastic day. So with Multicultural Day in full swing here at North Geelong Secondary College, it's a great day of culture and working as one. There's a really good arts, music, science and mathematics program out here too. So uh, I'm Lisa from Pulse Television. Have a great day. <laughs> Taylor Dow is only 17 and lives in Ocean Grove, but has set himself up for life with his amazing internet tea business. Bethany went and met the young entrepreneur. Taylor Dow is an entrepreneur from Ocean Grove who recently finished school so he could keep pursuing his business. Taylor, tell me a little bit about Body Tea. Our uh, Body Tea has been running for about nine months now. It's a weight loss tea that also assists in bloating. Uh, initially I, I started the tea hoping to uh, give people a healthy lifestyle and then over time I've realised that it's a really good tea for bloating, um, helping digestion and things like that. How did it come about? Uh, playing high levels of basketball, I uh, spoke to a lot of dietitians, naturopaths uh, and people in that sort of industry so eventually I, I discovered a whole lot of teas that work very well so I put them all together and, and made Body Tea Australia. Who's been helping you along the way? Uh, my parents are mentors for myself so Every day they're telling me things, what to do, what not to do. Um, they just guide me in the right direction, so I think my parents are my mentors. The weight loss industry is quite a bit of a, a controversial industry to get yeah. into. How do you feel about some of that? Uh, weight loss, is, it's, a, it's a tough industry because uh, you can't make claims that it works or it doesn't work. So um, Body Tea Australia assists in weight loss, so you obviously have to eat 
eat healthy and, and work out appropriately. I've noticed on the website that you do have some eating plans and some exercise plans. Do they come from your experience as a basketballer or do you have a bit of a help along the way? Yeah, um, I have a bit of experience uh, with dietitian, oh, with diets. Uh, recently I've published a Body Tea Australia book with recipes and a workout plan for seven days. Uh, so that covers uh, food planned for seven days and a workout plan. So we've, we've been in touch with high quality chefs and uh, workout people. So personal trainers, um, dietitians, naturopaths, things like that. The tea itself, where does it come from? How did you work it out? Uh, the tea comes from China. So in China, I'm sure a lot of people know that it's the, it's the biggest country to get tea from. So uh, my factory over there has sources the, the highest of quality teas and, and puts it all together for me. Now I understand you've only done two days of year 12 and called it quits. How did you make that decision? Uh, it was a tough decision, uh, leaving my friends behind. Um, but I really love and have the passion for body tea, so I keep working hard and, and take each day as it comes. Well, what did your parents think? Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. I'm dropping out of school and doing a business. Yeah, that's right. They, they thought at the start, you know, uh, it's, it's a tough call, but eventually they, they believed in me like they always do, so it's working out well and hopefully it continues to do so. Is this the first business venture that you've engaged in? No, since I was about eight, I've been selling things to my friends. Do you have any advice for young entrepreneurs out there? Uh, yeah, if, if you have a good idea, just stick with it. Um, I'm sure other people in, will enjoy the idea and invest in your idea as, as well as you have. So, And also the difference between an entrepreneur and, and an inventor is that uh, an entrepreneur doesn't have to invent something. So the wheel might already be there. You've just got to you know, add something to it and, and you could be you know, going well. Well, that's some great advice there from Taylor. Thanks very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Blokes Day Out is a free event with entertainment, activities, music and food stalls. Coming up this Sunday, the 30th of March at Eastern Beach Reserve. Launched in 2010, Blokes Day Out is a unique festival that celebrates what it is to be male. Creating awareness and promoting men's health and well-being. Promoting the positive involvement of blokes with their families, friends and community. Blokes Day Out is a celebration for everyone in the community to enjoy a day out together.